Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft mining tutorial for Forge 1.8, 1.19, not 1.18, god. In this tutorial we're going to be covering foods. So, let's get started, foods aren't, aren't hard are they? So, we just want a public static final registry object of item, it's just a normal item. We'll go example underscore food, equal items dot register, example underscore food, a supplier of a new item, of a new item dot properties. Okay, we'll do our tab as usual, tutorial mod dot tab. What the hell? Don't do that. Um, Yep, so that's our properties. And then we just want to add another for another property which is dot food. And this just takes in a food properties. So that is just a new food properties dot builder. Okay. Now what you might actually want to do is go ahead and create a separate thing for this, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create a public static class, foods. And here I'm going to say a public static final food properties, example underscore food is equal that. And I'm going to call dot build. Now, between this dot build and the builder constructor is where we can add our properties for the food. So, the obviously main one that you're going to want to do is nutrition, which is the amount of uh, drumsticks, or the amount of half drumsticks. So, say for example, you wanted uh, two drumsticks, then you would put four in here, because it's four half drumsticks. Which is actually what I'm going to um, no, I'll do six. Why not? Why not? Then you have the saturation. Um, I don't really know exactly what this number, like how it correlates to the amount of saturation, but I'm pretty sure one would be a full bar, I think. Or maybe it's the same as food. Maybe it's like six would be free saturation things i don't know in fact I'll, I'll try that i'll put a c although it's a float so probably not probably probably like 0.6 i don't know we'll see and then there are obviously other properties as well so for example there is always eat if you want it to be edible in creative mode or if you have full hunger for example so like golden apples or uh yeah just golden apples really isn't it um, and you can add an effect, for example. I'll show you that in a second, actually. Uh, I am going to add... I'm actually going to add um, meat. And what meat does is it means that dogs can eat it. So rotten flesh, for example, steak, uh, raw beef, raw pork chops, pork chops, you know, all that stuff. Um, there's also fast, which means it's faster to eat. It's half the time that it takes to eat. Uh, for example, I think beetroots, um, but I know for a fact that dried kelp is fast. Uh, dried kelp takes a lot less time. Um, and we need to... In fact, shall I do that? Mm, yeah, why not? Just save a little bit of time. Um, what else? Okay, let's do the effect. So as you can see, there's an effect here. And there's two methods for the effect. So there's an overload. One is with a supplier and one is not with a supplier. Now you want to use the one with a supplier. That is very important because the other one might not necessarily work. It, it's to do with the registration thing that I was talking about um, in the previous episodes. So all we need to do is a supplier of a new mob effect instance and as you can see this should have I actually don't remember the parameters so I'm hoping that it's going to show up but it 
doesn't seem to want to be showing up. Anyways, I think it's something along the lines of like mob effects dot. Yes, and then you can choose your effect that you want it to give you. So I'm going to give mine haste, sure. Um, and then you can specify the duration that it should give it to you for. So uh, this is in ticks, by the way. So I'm just going to put 600. Uh, I can't be bothered to calculate how long that is. That's like, is that 30 seconds or something? I, I don't know. Can't bother to calculate it. It's three seconds, isn't it? It's not three seconds. Of course it's not bloody three seconds. I'm an idiot. It's 30 seconds. Yeah. And then you've got the uh, amplifier as well. So basically the level that it should give. Um, I'm just going to make this free. Sure. It, it doesn't matter. And there are also other Boolean parameters that you can add in here, um, which do different things. You can, you can look into those if you wish. Uh, I'm not going to mess with those. And then the other parameter here that you need to add uh, outside of the mob effect instance is the probability. So if you want to have that effect happen every time, you just put one. Uh, zero means it will never happen. Obviously, you don't want that. Uh, I'm going to have 0.9. Okay, that's pretty much it. Obviously, you can add as many properties as you want here. I mean, there aren't that many properties here, but you know, you get what I mean. And all you need to do now inside this food, say foods dot example food. There you go. Let's format this a little bit. So let's say nutrition, uh, saturation, meat, fast, and then let's put the effect down there. And we'll finally build it there. Okay, fantastic. So that should be a little bit nicer. Let's just plonk these suppliers down a line as well. Just make everything a little bit cleaner, if possible. And now let's move on to the Lang because we're we're done with that now. Um, that's all we needed. So the Lang and the Jasons are all that's left. Let's go into the Lang first. So we'll come down here. We'll say item dot tutorial mod dot example underscore food example food i've already added my texture in here so if i go textures items mine should already be here i've just added a burger not burger you can absolutely not say burger it's burger so that's just there it's an awful texture i'm fully aware i did it in like two seconds so <laughs> just uh you have to bear with that and then we just want a normal item model really don't mean we don't want anything uh, special obviously if you do want something special then that's completely up to you but personally um it's just easier to not and that's it let's run the game shall we we are in the game and boom it's our food did we make it always eat i don't remember making it always eat i guess we must have done though did we let's have a look wait a minute foods we didn't uh what wait why can i eat it okay we got the effect by the way but why can I eat it? Can I eat bread? I can. What the hell? I thought... <laughs> I don't really know what auto always eat means then. So yeah, that's 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 it. I mean, foods. Am I right? You know. Um. So yeah, I hope you guys did find this tutorial useful. If you did, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And um, yeah. 
see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.